welcome back to an episode of We Are Still Permanently Blinded, and there's actually an interesting way around it, and it involves being unalive. <laughs> well, we are undead though, but there's actually a really, 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 really interesting way uh, of how to solve that, and we could try something very interesting here. We're just going to kill ourselves with this healing ability multiple times in a row. And I also have this other healing ability over here. And once this thing is done for, uh, I should pretty much be unalive. So, how else could I actually damage myself? Actually, Fane could go supernova. Uh, we could try that too. And then there's this. We're just going to stand in the fire because why not? There we go. Decent amount of damage. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And I actually need to burn a wee bit more. So let's do that. There we go. And of course, some healing on me. It's actually very difficult to kill myself. Look at that. Ah. Uh, okay. And once we have this healing spell over there, I should be dead. No. Wow. Like, this regeneration is actually quite powerful. I'm really surprised. There we go. And now I'm dead. Perfect. And uh, now what I can do is I can jump. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, that was actually quite unexpected. Um, Anyway. Let's get back to being alive again. The bees died as well. Well, uh... That was definitely not wanted, but now I am able to see again. Uh, I'm not permanently blinded anymore. So if you have this permanently blinded thing from the human altar over there, a nice way around it is definitely to sacrifice the character in a way. And uh, then you can just resurrect with the resurrection scroll even. And, uh, well, if you don't have this, like, bedroll resurrection active, then, of course, you can just use the scroll and everything is fine. It's a nice way around. It's absolutely amazing. And now I can... Look at this. Wait, that was the wrong one. Yeah, see that? Now I can aim all over the place. High ground is amazing. Uh, right. Um, but also, because this character did an awful lot of interactions, I think... There we go. Boost minus two. Uh, that is definitely what also happened. Like, I lost two constitution points from this uh, god interaction. And the god interaction is always in the way that if it's not the god that um, that's connected to you, then you will get the penalty. So if you have a, uh, well, spread out uh, squad, like... Not this one, there are two undead in here, so they don't really count. Um, actually, if you have four different ones, like, a, like an elf or whatever, actually, what you could try is to use the face mask and just make yourself be the specific race of the uh, of the altar. Well, two exceptions, of course, the uh, the orcs uh, and the, uh, the imps. They are not actual playable races, but... There's at least one way of doing that. Anyway, uh, let's just move on forward. One teleport at a time. So, let's see. Let's hope that we can actually jump across here. That would be quite nice. Uh, well, I do have two jump abilities, don't I? So, let's check. You gotta be kidding me. It's not working. Right. Let's see. Yeah. I, I can jump fairly, fairly far, but I cannot jump the... Well, this few meters. No, 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 no. Um, let's see. Do I really not? Okay. What if I stand over here? Like, sometimes I have to stand at a very sp strange spot, even. Uh, and then all of a sudden... Ah, look at that. If you stand right at the edge there, you can jump across. And then it works for some reason. All right. And now the squad's Master back again. Divine orders fleet by the look of it. Hellfire must have rained down on them. Hmm. Surprising any of them made it ashore looking at that. Yeah. Okay, so you could go down there, I presume. 
but I don't know. Oh, look at this. There's also another container that you can just open up. Now we got ourselves... Ah, the teleporter. That makes things easier. Perfect. And there's a vine that gets up somehow. Where do we end up at? Uh, well, we are just climbing upwards and upwards until we are at the top of the top. Oh, you actually have to get even higher than that. And I'm not even able to get there. <laughs> That's great. Hmm. Let's see. I think what I'm going to do is I'm again just going to jump around here. Use the beast as my pickup artist. <laughs> so, what else we got? Um, this thing here. Of course, there's nothing in the reliquary. Perfect. Let's. Wait a minute. Yeah, you. Hmm. How would you actually get up there? Maybe you could jump... Ah, from here. Uh, that's actually a very decent spot. So if you run down here, maybe stand on this little part of rock here, and then you can just teleport right across without needing to traverse the, uh, the bridge that much. Okay. So now, team is back together. But I now need to... Oh, look at that. Uh, so... Maybe you can even get the occasional item down here, but no, uh, it's dead terrain, whatever. What we are going to do is we're just going to climb that line. And maybe just get rid of this marker here, because why not? So, any container? Nope. We get higher and higher and higher. And what else is there? Nothing, still. And if I get even higher, what happens then? Where am I? Whoa. A temple in the clouds? What holds this aloft? And we just climbed up all the way into the temple of the clouds. That is quite remarkable. And there's even a little question by way. There's a there's a Wait a minute. Why is there a question mark? In the stone. Is that? I don't even know where that is, but it's uh, somewhere over here and it goes around or so. I don't know. That's kind of weird. A question mark inside the stone. Hmm. Now we are in Amadia's temple. That is a real surprise. And that one may just go down again, I think. Or does it? No. Uh, wait a minute. How do you even go forward? Ah, maybe you have to go around here or something. Let's see. Uh, it's a one-way street. Okay. A one-way street. Can we jump up there? Of course not. If I were to jump from up here, it also doesn't work. So, we have to go around in a very, very strange kind of way. But first, let's talk to this huge stone face. Before you stands a shrine to Amadia, her solemn face carved of ancient stone. Hmm. Examine the statue. This statue of Amadia seems ancient. Moss blooms from cracks all over the stone, and tears of rain stream from her eyes. A hollow space marks the center of her creased brow. Interesting. And she also has horns. That's weird. And place your hand on the shrine and ask for Amadia's blessing. You feel a presence awaken within the stone. An ancient awareness reaches out to you, swirling through every cell of your body and every mote of your soul. A light breeze dances at your heels. You feel yourself becoming lighter and lighter until you are borne aloft and floating above the ground. Ooh, wait a minute. We also got some bonus. Look at this. Surface have no effects on you. Then the awareness recedes from hmm. ebbing back like a tide until you are left completely alone. Alone with your thoughts, alone with the blessing Amaria left you with. And I'm hovering. I hope this is really permanent, that would be amazing. Before you stands a shrine to Amadia, her solemn face carved of ancient stone. You remember that the statue of Amadia in the hollow marshes healed you. 
But no words from you can rouse this one to response. Whatever powers the gods once had has weakened indeed. Hmm. What about that? Before you stands a shrine to Amadia. Her solemn Place the hand on it. Okay, there. good. And same for this Before two. You stands a sh you feel like then. Alright. Air immunity. Wow. Stun status and air damage is ignored. Oh. Before you stands a shrine to a mother. You feel a presence awaken within. Lightning flashes and thunder rumbles. Static electricity crackles all around you and dances over your body. Yet you feel no jolt or shock. And it fizzles out as soon as it touches your skin. Then the awareness recedes from you. Ebbing back like a tide until you are left completely alone. Al hmm. With the gift that Amadio gave you. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. And now I know why we need the hovering thing. But air resistance plus 100. Immunity to stun and shock. Why now? Can we... We cannot traverse that yet. Which is a wee bit iffy. So... It doesn't work like that. Whoa. Whoa, wait a minute, what happened? I can just stand on it, no problem. Maybe this is a two-part puzzle, so... Who knows? But we cannot traverse this way over here. Let's see. Uh, there's the Ring Reaver thingy. That looks kind of suspicious. Uh, that's the center part with the shrine. This is where we need to go. But there's also a teleporting thingy that probably goes to the other side. Okay. Right. So this could be one way, or is it the way back? Ah. Like this. The problem is the camera doesn't keep its uh, height stable. So it's a wee bit weird. Okay. So this one here. We go over there. We go over there. Uh, we're now over here. On the shrine, but how would you get onto that shrine if not from? Or maybe you are getting teleported up here, but no, this is not how you do this. So da 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 da. That could be the end of the journey. So we're going up. This is where the teleporting thing actually gets you. And in order to get to the teleporter, we need to uh, get over here somehow. And in order to get over there, this is the lightning surface thing that we need. Interesting, so it is a puzzle. Um, okay, but how would you usually go forwards? Because the way to do that now uh, may even be somewhat limited because you cannot traverse that. You can't do progress any further if you don't have any jump abilities, it seems. You really do need them, which is not a problem right now because I can just jump wherever I want. But it's definitely a problem for other people uh, who may not have a jump character on them. So you need at least warfare, one. Um, yeah, one point in warfare at least. And then what you need to do is uh, get jump skills. The fire jump is one, but yeah, the Phoenix Staff is actually the most... Oh, actually, <laughs> it requires two points. So it's not that easy. Maybe you have to bless something in order to make the bridge reappear. That could also be a thing. Who knows? The spirit of a black ring initiate stands before you. He seems to be smoldering. Spectral ash and smoke drift away from him. He sighs at his incinerated mortal remains. Perhaps my sacrifice will be enough. Perhaps the God King will restore me to fight again. An awful lot of perhapses. Uh, ask about what dangers lie ahead. You can go sleep for yourself and die in the attempt. Mm -hmm. Demand that he tell you what he knows or you'll use your god woken powers to consume. Nah. Note the absence of any other black ring. Ask if he tried to take the temple himself. The spirit puffs himself up. The god king rewards daring. I thought I could capture this place alone while the others were occupied. There's more dangers here than I would have credited with. Hmm. Interesting. But how does he know that daringness gets rewarded? Hmm. 
Okay, let's just be a bit more angry here. If the spirit still had a complexion, he would no doubt turn pale at this point. God woken? No, wait, please. I'll tell you what I know. The sentinels, they're no danger when they're moving. But as soon as they stop, that means they're about to attack. That's all I know, I swear. That's how they got me. I didn't realize I was in danger until it was too late. Interesting. Now, let's just leave him be. Uh, and this is probably how you would activate this uh, teleporting thing in Oh, look at that. That one cannot be reached. So either we have to teleport around it. Or we have to do some other, other shenanigans. Um, there's no platform here. Nothing else that you could interact with. So... Ah! This thing can be interacted with. And the hovering fellows might be the one. Does anything seem different now? Okay. That one points that way for some reason. Strange markings. Let's hope that it doesn't disappear. And the second one also does the thing. Okay. Weird, 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 weird. So you go from one to the other. Um, Did that cause a reaction? Oh, the clouds are gone. Look at that. Now it looks even more beautiful. And what did I say? Something about the portal. Does the ghost have anything to say? Now, we are going to take our leave. Jump to the other side. And... Oh, wait a minute. What does it say? Portal. Hmm. You can't just get any more information on the portal though. Tactical archer's guide, right? And then there is some strange stuff around here. No. It's just decorational stuff. Like sometimes you think you can just go there and everything will be fine, but no. Sometimes, most of the time, it's just decoration. Right. Let's see what this thing does. I have no idea what any of this means. Hmm. Let's give a scholar a good read. Amadia truly is the mother of all magic. The patron of all who use source. Interesting. Anything else? Amadia truly is the mother of all magic. Oh, wait. The patron of all who use source. Amadia truly is the mother of all magic. And I still can't jump forward. There we go. <sighs> hey, we got an engraved jewel. Whatever this one does. A jewel with strange markings etched onto its facet. Would not doubt fetch a high price, but perhaps it has another purpose. Who knows? Actually, if you see this jewel, a slightly uh, larger version is the Santessa thing. Maybe this has something to do with it. Who knows? But we are going to keep that. Uh, there we go. So, now, what about this archery thing that I found? This archer's guide is bound with fletching leather. It is a compendium of exquisite drawings telling how to craft a variety of innovative and unusual arrows. Scrawled in the margins, you notice a handwritten note underlined thrice. Remember, point the sharp bit towards the enemy. I already read that one because I can somehow remember. Ah! It was, um. Um, well, no, nah, not Lucian, but the, the, the bishop um, had a similar gem on him. That kind of opened some gates or whatnot, so that could have a similar use, you know. Four of those damn sentinels. Damn sentinels. What's that them? On top of the pillar. Yeah, we need to get there somehow. Um, but first, we're just going to run straight through because what damn it? Right. We're just charging on forward. This one opens that. It's not really a riddle, it's more like... Oh, okay, wait a minute. Or maybe it is a riddle. Or maybe not, who knows. 
Okay, or maybe it's not a riddle. Maybe you just have to activate them no matter what. There we go. Must I kill you now? It would pain me. Um, definitely don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, that is kind of funny. So, wait. Oh, really? Okay. I shall take that as a yes. Okay, this is definitely not what I wanted. Um, because the beast just had the worst positioning ever, and these knights of Armadia are probably more keen on talking with, uh, talking with a, a dead. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to use the main character here and let him walk about. And the rest of the team just stays where they are. It really is a very useful blessing. The whole not getting stun thing is also pretty deep. Pretty, pretty neat. But hovering, hovering, that's where it's at. Nice. And with that, we can just go back again. Perfect. And, oh. Amadia's light stirs within. There we go. You are not of the Black Ring, and yet you are undead. But I sense good in you. Ooh, -hoo. feeling rises in you, Maria, telling you to reveal her presence. Just that feeling. She gasps and bows her head in deference. Forgive me, please. I hold this boon. It is Amadia's. It should be yours. Okay. Ask her what's she doing up here. Does she serve her? I came to the council to learn to be divine. I failed. I'm not made to be pursued by evil. And that's what it means to be Godwoken. Afterwards, I roamed the island, as did all we fallen knights. But my worst fears came true when the Black Ring came. I fled here. I made sure the temple was defended and went to the altar. I prayed to Amadia for help, but she did not answer. I'm not ashamed to say that I hid. There is untold evil in the world, and it has reached the island. It seeks the Godwoken who would be divine. I cannot bear it. Hmm. Okay, now where do you go now? Go? There is no go. I belong here. I was Godwoken, but for all the evil in the world, I would not be divine. I did not search the world for the others of our kind. My place is here. Yours is inside the mountain. Ah, okay. Speaking of which, tell her you seek Amadia's altar. Amadia's altar is at the highest point. Climb to the sky and you may find it. Shall you replace the lady? Or shall you take her to the council? Hmm. Tell her you will do Amadius, but no. Turn and leave. You have climbing to do and an altar to find. Uh, well, we are doing her bidding, in a way. Then you must do it now, without fear or hesitation. Time is running short, and know this. If you would reach the council and be divine, all the evil in the world will rise to stop you. May you have more strength than I. She bows her head in deference and allows you to leave. Thank you. So, now we can connect the rest of the squad. Uh, maybe she will just disappear. No, 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 no. She's not going to disappear. She's going to show me the way to the altar, which is quite useful. Nice. Ah, uh, there's the altar. And all of those things are now active. Or at least, it looks like it. So, let's just get the Stardust up. That's neat. Then I probably need to do some rune crafting to get all of those extremely overpowered runes. <laughs> With the rune frames and whatnot. And they're just absolutely amazing. Hmm. She acknowledges your presence with a simple nod. A pair of gloves, beaten and worn, but clearly of the highest value, especially to a wizard. Interesting. She gives me the thing. Whoa, fire, water, air. Exactly what I need, because I am already poison resistant. Sweet, we got pyrokinetic, hydrosophist, and aerothurge. Well, I need geomancy. And, uh, okay. So maybe he would benefit more from it. Poison resistance on, uh, in terms of combat, yes. Um, pyrokinetic also, yes. Uh... Hydrosophism, meh, not so much, but 
more of the fire variety, but yeah, the defense is what counts here. But the two points in fever, ooh, two points in fever. Let's uh, move this into Fane's bag over there. So, where is this thing? Uh, it's not scaling, or is it? No, it just needs 14. Tons. But it's also level, ah, level 70. By the way, what kind of level am I? Uh, seven. What kind of level? 17. Very interesting. Let's hope that we can keep our hovering abilities, but yeah, let's pray. A bird flits in the background as you approach the altar. Laying your hand on the weather-beaten stone, you feel a gentle heat. A sense of warmth and peace fills you. Mm. The chirping of birds fades into the gentle, warm crackle of a wood fire. You're standing in an old cabin, the wood stained with age. Sitting in a rocking chair, bathed in moonlight, is Amalia. She's old now, withered and hunched, grey hair falling over failing eyes. She turns to you and dips her head, sending you on your way with a smile that warms your soul. The room fades, but Amalia's moon remains, now emblazoned on the altar before you. Interesting. Just like that. No asking for power, no nothing. A bird flits in the back. A sense of warmth and peace. You reach out to a mouth. Nothing. All right. And this... She acknowledges your presence with a simple nod. Oh, now it's slime and cursed fire aura. Very interesting. Before, she had a life lock on her. But okay. Looks like we can go back now. There's nothing else for us to do up here. We already got all of the things that we need. I could actually try to teleport. Uh, Temple of Raleigh. There we go. The simplest teleportation. And what now? Yeah, that one was over here. That's just lava territory. That doesn't really count. And then we have this stuff here with the lizard assassin. Okay, it looks like we're going there next time around. Um, but let me see. What is this area here? Because it's still... A lot of black ring things, and looks like we are going to interact with them in the next episode. Until then, like and subscribe it. Ta-ta!